Ubes. Welcome to Boobays. That's right. Your favorite podcast about horror films and spooky times. Yes. And we're your hosts. I'm Joshua. And I'm Caitlin. And we're here to tell you about a fan favorite. Yes, it is. A fan of ours favorite. Yeah, a fan's (laughs) fan's favorite. A fan's fan's favorite. Yes. Yes, one of our listeners. That's right. And (laughs) who is this listener, Caitlin? This is Jeff. Jeff. Yay, Jeff. Jeff, one of our uh, favorite listeners, Mr. Yes. Jeff. Um, yeah. Uh, and the, the movie that we are talking about is Mama. Mama 2013. Mama. Mama. I don't know if there, I'm sure there's other movies Mama. called Mama. But um, yeah, 2013, the supernatural horror film. Directed uh, by the... The, 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 the duo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was produced by him, Guillermo, right? Or and yeah. directed with him and uh, get those the words other dude. Um, combined. Yeah, it's directed by. Uh, la, la, la. I had his name literally pulled up, and I was all ready for it. But then Andy Muschietti, Muschietti, and his yes. directorial debut, and it is based off his 2008 Argentine short story, yes. uh, film named Mama. Mama. Um, and yeah, I it, tried to find it to watch it. Mm-hmm. I couldn't find it. I also didn't look on YouTube, though. Gotcha. So no, it's I, on there. <laughs> I actually did find a Mushietti. clip of it by, and it was a clip of it and another clip, essentially, trying to find it on Google. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, it was pretty creepy. But, yeah. And I could see where the inspiration from that it is gave It three to, minutes long. Yeah, it's very short, apparently. Very much like the mm-hmm. Lights Out short. I remember yeah. seeing that one before that movie came out. Oh, really? The yeah. light, the I short, hadn't seen it beforehand. The short was as same as honestly this. more. Scarier. T- yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes things that are short pack more of a punch. Mm-hmm. It's uh-huh. like the two sentence horror <clears throat> stories and yeah. stuff. Not that sh- the show is scary, but like some of the ones, whenever you read them, it's like, yeah. oh, God. And it was only two sentences. Yeah. I um, love it. So, yeah, this movie um, came out 2013, like we said. Um, I remember I watched it in the theater. Um, I remember then remember I, I liked it. I remember I liked it upon its initial, like, my first watching uh, viewing of it. came out um, in January. It was supposed mm-hmm. to come out in 2012, but they didn't want it to come out at the same time as the Paranormal Activity 4. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah. They I mean, kind of makes release sense. Back. Yeah. And then I'm wondering, like, what? Well, 2013 was also the same year that the, the Conjuring. Conjuring came out, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, because I was wondering, like, how is it going? I was wondering how it did in comparison yeah. to that, but I'm I'm imagining it dropped before then. But then Probably. the Conjuring became like the highest, gro- one of the highest grossing horror films mm-hmm. of all time, is what we talked about, right? Yeah, I think so. It made a lot of money. My la mommy. And so, um, yeah, this film kind of, what's a good way? Oh, so you can watch the short film Inspired less. Mama here. There on a are. page I had pulled up. So okay. clearly I just started <coughs> my research and then didn't actually. Yay. Um, finishing finish things it. halfway through. Yeah. That's how we like to do it. No follow through. Picking it up later, but probably not. Um, and, and that's called ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> but... Nonetheless, I the movie is, uh, it's okay. We're running on, uh, we'll put it into the podcast. I'm running on tears. Um, It's about a, I would say, what would you say? A supernatural entity that uh, adopts two children mm-hmm. that are. Uh, Essentially abandoned. And yeah, in some unfortunate situations. And mm-hmm. it's a pretty Lemony Snicket type of situation, I would say. Yeah. Except, Except if Lemony Snicket not- was dead and trying to kill you. Yeah. Well, I feel like she had the best intentions. Um, She was really, yeah, uh, if anything, trying to protect them because she thought they were hers. This is the ultimate definition of a helicopter parent. Yeah, I can see that. She flies around. You. You, she does. You're right. And then she she swings little Lily around. Mm Mm-hmm. So she makes Lily a helicopter. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Not really. Into a helicopter moth. Helicopter moth. That's right. Yeah. Oh man, I I do remember the first time I watched this, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Fuck!" 
Yeah, this is one of those movies that definitely doesn't give way to the whole, like, it has to have a good, like, everybody survived yeah. happy ending. Um, It definitely, I was also surprised when the ending happened because I thought, oh, wow, wait, what? That, They're going to let this happen? happen? But it did seem, like, honestly, thinking about, like, but Lily's, it's perfect. all of her formative years yeah. were everybody with won. Mama. Everybody, everybody it was a win-win situation kind of yeah and she got to be with mama for except the for um her sister <laughs> essentially because um victoria now has to at least get you know lives yeah. without her sister but i mean they were also little so it's like uh, maybe she will very like cynical of, of me but i'm just like it's not like she had that much long with her she'll just remember her as like a really nostalgic like she was eight uh, they were yeah and so I'm very confused as to how she was three and speaking as well as she was. And the, like the with little the one. confidence. The no. little, wait. Victoria. Oh, Victoria. Victoria, when they like found her, I believe was eight. Yes. After the, after and it the was years. Five, five years, years later. after. Mm-hmm. So a three-year-old was oh, like yeah. talking as well as she was. At the beginning? Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And um, cause well, then I was no, like, she does I look know, kind no. of small. No. My, my, Yeah. I feel she like that's right. That well? Yeah, because I have okay. my nephews and nieces, and the, uh, yeah, about that age. There's, uh, my, she seemed to just my, talk with a higher level of maturity, and her lines were delivered. I, I mean, I don't know. I just, I would have trouble. Mm-hmm. Most of the three year olds I've met are a little more like shy mm-hmm. and not as like concise. Gotcha. And she was very like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I think it depends. But for sure, I mean, but these are. I mean, they're also, it's a movie. It's a movie. And they're <laughs> little kid actors as well. Um, I thought she was five. I would have guessed five. Five? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can I see also that am never sure. around children mm-hmm. that, yeah. That, like, that little, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know exactly one child mm-hmm. that I have, like, been with since its birth. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Her birth. <laughs> and, yeah. She's, she's six she now. now. Okay, cool. And I don't know. She was giving me more, like, her age that she is now though yeah yeah i feel that Uh uh-huh at the beginning yeah um but that is and well in the beginning their whole ordeal that they're going through so we're starting off this movie with a um once upon a time once upon a time we have a really important guy in charge of a company or like the cfo not the ceo um essentially and he it's right whenever i guess the turn of the economy was going down and shit hit the fan so that was the dad that was the dad okay yes Mm -hmm. i because I was reading my closed captioning and the radio announcer was saying something about like suicides and murders mm-hmm. and stuff. And so I was like, mm. I'm, I was, was just assuming yeah. that they in a stock market crash. Mm-hmm. And I was assuming that they lived in or like worked in the stock market stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I wasn't certain that it was him. So it like was him. It was him. Stuff yeah. Crashed. I think, yeah. Yeah. He yeah. In charge of it. <laughs> yes. Like his portfolio. Yes. And he ended up killing like some employees, ended up killing his boss and then ended up killing his ex-wife that was there at the house. I feel like this like thing uh, that was on the car, this was all kind of like already happening mm-hmm. after the fact kind of news reporting that they were just playing and we were seeing everything play out. If that okay. makes sense. Um, because he then took, but the, is that the car he got into? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So the one he crashed. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that's kind of weird if they chose to do it that way. Off the hill. Yeah, because if that was happening, like, an after-the-fact report, mm-hmm. I have trouble believing that. The timeline is all weird. Mm-hmm. But, okay. But that's him. Like, that's the storyline. Okay. Yeah. And so that was his ex-wife. Yes. Um, uh, his and so he was, like, going wife. to, like, pick up the kids? Or why was he going to murder her? Um, because or he she was, was there to pick up the he kids. He was losing it. I guess, and he just had a mental breakdown. He had already, like, shot and killed his boss and, like, went on, like, a rampage and Mm. then was going to their house to essentially take the kids. Um, And And I don't know, do what? Uh, Yeah, eventually, yeah. After, because he had already killed the wife. Well, because he was going to shoot himself first, but then I guess he was too much of a coward to shoot himself. Then he was just like, well, let me just shoot the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't believe whenever he, ugh. Mm-hmm. okay yeah so but yeah and you do hear the gunshot at the beginning and then i said mm-hmm. and a busted looking man comes in mm-hmm. he was looking real rough yeah and he says mommy's not feeling well yeah and god the way he was driving oh, why the fuck i mean i know why they weren't in car seats because mm-hmm. he was trying to kill them mm-hmm. but i was like why are these kids not in car seats and then i was like oh 
whenever he's I was writing that and then he started like accelerating Swerving, going crazy yeah and then at one point he even wants to take like his meds um because mm-hmm. I'm assuming there's something that maybe I don't know that he was supposed him. to be taking meds for and maybe he was just going through a really rough time and just kind of had a really mental breakdown at this point yeah and um, well people who work in the stock market and like mm-hmm. accountants like That's have right. the literal highest just rate of suicide right yeah that was my favorite fun fact that my brother told me whenever oh, really? he went into the field of accounting yeah and I was wow. like don't tell me that <laughs> I feel like too because just that like dealing with money when it's large sums and like having a lot of that weight on you even like you know the stress of like financial debt mm-hmm. sometimes like that stress is like ugh. so like imagine when it's like so much money and, and they have to report and it's money yeah and then it all falls on you and then like what do you do and it's it's literally all just like betting yeah i don't know it's like gambling, gambling. yeah and I, uh-huh. I can't that's why i can't gamble i can't i have no problem spending two hundred dollars on Things. three tables yeah uh-huh. on a literal three second whim um but that's that's something tangible. That's something you're going to have. True. That's not like a mm-hmm. gambling mm-hmm. is a very unknown situation. Mm-hmm. It's very risky. No return. Um, yeah. I have immediate gratification. A, yeah. It, what is it? High, high risk, low yield. Yeah. Like, yeah mm-hmm. That sounded right. Yeah. I have listened to my brother talk about finances <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes he'll just go off and he's like, mm-hmm. blah, 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 blah. this is what's happening. And I'm like, I have no clue what you're saying, but but then yeah. also when other thing like when prices do rise, I'm like, hey, why are gas prices going? Why up? is this happening? And he's like, because of this, this, and this. And I'm like, yep. oh, mm-hmm. thanks. Yeah. Thanks, bud, for being the news. Um, sometimes it's better to hear it right from the horse's mouth. That's, that's right. what they say, right? Yeah. I think that's a saying. Eat the kids. <clears throat> and so they um <laughs> he ends up taking these kids. They're driving sporadically on this really snowy mountaintop. I don't know where he thinks he's going, but he's driving really fast. And even Victoria's like Daddy thinking he was going off the probably cliff. and just gonna kill them all like <laughs> yeah. that. And she's like, Daddy, please like slow down. You're driving crazy and he's like still doing it. And then they end up like oh, and he yells sliding, him, Shut up. Yeah, and sliding right off of uh, you know, not a cliff cliff, but like one a of those little like a mountain side. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's some space in between them and hitting the A very the steep ground. hill. Yeah, I would say. And I don't know how they survived, to be honest. Maybe because the snow. <sighs> Maybe. But I thought snow was even more like harder, like like yeah, impactful. If it's it's if dense, it's, you know. If it's a powdery snow, no. Mm. But like packed, compacted snow. Uh huh. Because yeah. like when I've I mean, I've like busted my ass snowboarding before Mm. yeah i mentioned i think i mentioned that Mm -hmm. yeah and like fucked up my telephone for a bit so i mean and then there was one time i like accidentally scorpioned and so like my board Uh, hit the back of my head i would be so afraid to do that like i went down like a good portion of this hill mm -hmm. on my face Mm -hmm. i like had snow all in my nose my mouth my ears i'd be afraid to uh what's it uh Ski, ski, and snowboard. That's mm-hmm. oh man, yeah. The skiing, I'm like afraid. You know, like, I heard that one's harder than snowboarding. Yeah, or, I mean, I, I just know. did snowboarding because I skate did mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. a while, so mm-hmm. it just seemed like the right choice. Um, skis. I was in ski wee school when I was young because mm-hmm. my dad worked at a ski resort for the mm-hmm. longest time, and so all I remember is pizza and French fries. But I have those like intrusive thoughts of like. If I'm on the skis, I'm going to crash and then one's it's gonna gonna stab tail me. me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Just like whenever the teachers would come around and check your head for lice, every time they would do that, I just oh, imagine yeah. the pencils like stuck in my head. <laughs> Oh, or that's when I how clean I feel. my ears with Q-tips. I feel like that's why I feel like when you like go to the dentist and like they're doing drilling and then I'm like, oh, one of these is going to like, mm-hmm. like really, yeah, do something Drill bad. They're, or they're going to slip or they're going to sneeze and it's just going to chop off your whole tongue or just stab me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All the way into your brain. Blood everywhere. I love it. Um, and they are, uh, they essentially make it. They are escape without any scratches, really. Yeah, and they they're walking, fine. yeah. And they're walking through the woods until they find a cabin. And then it says, like, the name Helvetica on it. Um, like, Helvetia. Helvet. Hel- Hel- okay, they said something else later, but I put, I saw Helvetia. Helvetia, okay. Or I Helvetia, saw- I think is what they call it. Maybe. Um, I thought it was Helvetica at first as well, mm-hmm. and I'm like, like the font, like the font. <laughs> and mm-hmm. then I was like, no, there. I like kind of paused it. And mm-hmm. There wasn't a C, but I think there may be a C somewhere else. Maybe. And I think I still spelled Helvisha, it wrong. Helvetia, maybe. Helvetia, I don't know. But who knows? Maybe. Um, well, we find out later. But there's 
uh, someone inside for sure, most definitely. Yeah, I'll um, figure mm-hmm. rushes past. Because Victoria sees it, I believe. She mm-hmm. definitely notices, but Dad's not really paying attention to that. They end up going inside. Dad's uh, starting a fire. Beautiful. I was like oh. in the middle of typing, look at this mid-mod furniture. So cute. And then I was like, JK, <laughs> he's fucking breaking it to make a fire. Whatever. Yeah, literally. And then um, it's really grungy in there already from the get-go. And then uh, he ends up kind of having this moment in the kitchen while the girls are kind of just there in the living room. Um, Victoria is looking outside and she mentions that she sees someone outside. There's a lady outside and she's Daddy, like, there's a woman outside. She's not touching the floor. Literally. And it's like, but he's, he couldn't pay any attention to her. And he's, he's about to shoot himself. Well, yeah. About to shoot himself, but then decides not to. Uh, and it's decides that it's going to be a lot easier to just shoot the girls mm-hmm. instead. Um, and so he ends up putting well, the gun I was, next like, to at her. First, I was like, you are not about to do that in front of your kids. Mm. Like, and then, <laughs> and then just leave them there with your rotting corpse. And then, but then we see what he tries yeah, to do next. And then this yeah. is also, yeah, not good. He takes her glasses and she's so like, she I can't, can't see. see. Yeah. And it's like, oh my God, poor baby. And then he just like holds her head that way. So she's facing out he's the like, glass door. Mm-hmm. He's like, it's not and he's deer. about to literally shoot her in the back of the head. But then we have a mama to the rescue. The spirit come up from behind him that we don't really see. And through most of the movie, we kind of don't really see her in twelve. I mean, mid. In yeah, way mark, get a, yeah. we get more of her, but for the most part, at the beginning, we don't. It's see just her too like much. wispy. Yeah, it's like bits. It's very. There are a lot of moments in this <clears> film <throat> where I was like, "Man, Del Toro has a type mm-hmm. with his like directional and mm-hmm. with his artistic kind of eye." Mm-hmm. Because there were quite like the black moths, the way that these ghosts and apper like that she was pops reminded in me and out. Yeah, like very Crimson much Peak. of Crimson Peak. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I can see that. And then also Jessica Chastain. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, which is probably how they met. Yeah. Um, and then got in touch and then got that one done. But um, yeah, we have and all she, that that's happening. Also how she, she pops was up. In it too. Because oh, that's right. Ma- well, is he, that how you say his name? He directed both of them, I believe. It's one and two. Yeah, but yep. she was mm-hmm. in it too. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, um, he, he was the director of that. And that's why he couldn't be in the second one of Mama. Which apparently there was a sequel going. There was or was going to be, and he couldn't they be couldn't involved it. in it no, because he was well, it was busy. only Del Toro, I believe. He couldn't gotcha. be, even though it was his idea mm-hmm. and everything, like because he wrote the short mm-hmm. film. And him and his, I believe, sister, sister. Mm-hmm. and Barbara. He couldn't do it because he was already signed on with it. Gotcha, and like mm-hmm. hit, that was obviously like yeah, his main focus. Our president mm-hmm. and brought him the big bucks phenomenal i yeah. love the new it's yeah so they're much. both good and they're hilarious i'll we'll have to cover them at one point as well, well make a funny movie mm-hmm. um and, and so classify them as more comedy <laughs> they could be they are um especially the older the original too as my, well my, one of my all-time <laughs> faces is in it so uh curry who what who's curry tim oh no <laughs> Sorry. It's oh, in the new one. the new ones. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I was like trying to go through my head. I was like, Curry. And then I was like, Steph Curry? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> and so, basketball. yeah, we've got dad is dead. Dad is dead. And these babies got no one. And then um, they start getting a uh, little pe- uh, cherry cherries. It was a big ass cherry. Something gives it a cherry. Yeah. These are huge cherries. I don't know cherries. That look I like thought that. it was a plum. I thought so too. I was or like, it's not oh, a cherry at least. Yeah, look at this little plum um, or a very like rotten apple, you know, when they start mm-hmm, shriveling. Mm-hmm. I also thought it could have been that. <laughs> it could have been an organ. Um, and then we get some credits and we get a title sequence that says mama. Um, and then we get a five years later flash. Um, mm-hmm. And we are. Um, and we're seeing like kind of their story unfold throughout mm-hmm, the mm-hmm, illustrations mm-hmm. on the walls too. Like we see them eating rats. And I was like, oh, just like homeboy from Grave Encounters. Um, yeah. Ratma. Ratma. And then like them all crawling. The drawings of Lily crawling on all oh, fours. Oh, yeah. It's creepy. It freaked me out. Yeah. I was like, well, shit. Especially later when we see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, no, I'm sorry. I would have like punched that child. You did. I'm across the like, room. Duh. Whenever she turns around and she's on that countertop uh-huh. right behind her, oh, I, yeah. my immediate reaction would have been like, or like frying pan to the face. Stabbed <laughs> it. Hit it. Yeah. Yeah. Terrifying. I mean, I don't know. I don't know who's to say what I would do in that moment, but same, I would, I, w- I would hope that I would do that. But also, I feel like I might just like jump and like 
pee myself. Run or run away. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have uh, five years later. We have we see that um, our guy from earlier, Dad, Lucas. had a brother. Yeah, which essentially is. I don't know if it's established that it's a twin. Did I hear that it was a twin? Did you hear that oh, it was a twin? Oh, I don't know. Twin? They did look remarkably similar. It's the same actor. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. It's the exact same <laughs> actor. Yeah, so that's why I'm like, wait, did we establish that this was a twin or not? I never really get spoken, but if not, they are and just And he looked really... definitely more like him five years later. Yeah. at first, whenever he pulled up to the house, when everything was going on and he pulled up to the like police line oh, yeah, yeah. and stuff, and he's like, my name's Lucas, like I'm, I'm his brother, blah, blah, uh-huh. blah. He had much more of a beard yeah. then, and he looked a little more like woodsy. Yeah. And then now he looked more... Like him. Like his brother did. Yeah. And I was Whenever like, that was happening at the beginning. That makes sense as to why they look so similar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the yeah. Same. It's the same person. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I was like, oh, wait, is that his twin? But yeah, they're um, whatever. Uh, at this point, he's talking to some dudes who are in the woods who are looking for him for his nieces and his brother, essentially, at this point. Yeah. He still is. There Kudos were never any bodies recovered, so he's still on the search for them. Yeah. Um, and they're these basically guys, combing the woods. Yeah, too. but they're not even really looking at this point. Yeah. They're just kind of taking his money. At this point, they're kind of just pissing around, literally pissing. Well, um, I mean, because his last payment didn't go through. That's true. So that means, like, technically they haven't been paid for this work, and they it's don't know if the work is going to... going to get paid for it, so yeah. why even work? That's true. Even though it's I a good that. cause, mm-hmm. there's it's still mm-hmm. their job. Yeah. So I would probably be inclined to also kind of dick around. Mm-hmm. Hey, but they're dicking around, got them somewhere, cause it did because they fucking found them. They see the car, and then they're like, huh, the guy goes what's to piss that? On it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, and that's whenever they end up finding the um, cabin. They go inside. I believe they see that there is like a giant oh, pile of cherry yeah, pits. Yeah, exactly. A giant we pile of cherry Lily pits. coming down the stairs. like Very creepily. Oh, that part alone was like. Yeah. I don't and do I don't things. know like don't how like or what they did or if it was sped up, but it just did not look human of course Mm -hmm. and it just looked very creepy and like something that was about to come attack you um yeah it was terrifying Mm -hmm. she looked like oh it's really scary yeah especially because you imagine like you're in a cabin you're in the woods like it's really dark in there you can't really see that well around you and then you just see this little like figure going and you hear like i think if anything it would be like the hearing the the Mm -hmm. pitter patter of like it going right around you yeah four, yeah like four feet basically yeah. on the ground so like because they're moving like feral animals at this point they're they not are. moving like little kids yeah they're not on two feet victoria the homeboy finds the pits piled up in the kitchen mm-hmm. um and victoria is just sitting there like perched on top of the little tiny baby fridge yeah and sitting there looking hella weird too she sat like how the cats sit yeah, exactly. And so I was like, yeah. what are you doing? And so they're kind of just like looking at the old men that are there and the old men are kind of like, what the crap? And so they end up calling um, uh, the brother, which I'm trying to remember his name, but I'll, we'll come up to it here Lucas. in a second. Lucas. They end up calling Lucas um, and it's kind of like, oh, we found him. Um, and that's whenever he ends up uh, going into, we see he has a girlfriend and she's a part of a rock band. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's played by Jessica Chastain in the I worst wig like ever. This look. Yeah, the worst her wig. hair was so bad. It was so bad. It's a I wig. was like, like y'all couldn't have like done horrible. anything better for but her. But this, yeah. That, like, just shave her head. Yeah, honestly. At this point. Because she's supposed to be like this really grunge, she has rocker, the face shape like for it. punk, like, I'm going I've against the status quo. I've never once in my life thought that I wanted Kristen Stewart to play a role. Uh, she would have been perfect for this. She would have. Yeah. Probably done a really great job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just imagining her as, you know, whenever she that was cold. in. And whenever oh. she was in the Joan Jet <laughs> gotcha. film. She did a great job mm-hmm. in that, I personally think. Um, yeah, I can see that. And she could have just basically played that character on this I don't one. think she could have been, I don't think she could have delivered, well, maybe now. I don't think in 2013 she could have delivered as quite as bitchy of mm-hmm. a performance as Jessica Chastain mm-hmm. did. Because at the beginning, like, she, well, yeah. Annie, Annabelle, her name. Annabelle, yeah. Um. It took me a while. I kept referring to her as Jessica. And I was like, mm-hmm. this is Annie. Annie. Um, but she was really looking a fucking bitch. Yeah, she was. She Super was insensitive. Kind of insensitive. Very kind of a, seemed a little bit more selfish. Mm-hmm. Uh, a little bit more about her. She seemed very much also. Um, at this point, did we already get the whole her with the little pissing stick? Thing? Yes. Yeah. That was going on while he was getting the, the phone, phone call. call. Right. Yeah. Uh, which was her 
peeing on a pregnancy stick and it was negative and you can really see this big sigh of relief on her which is really just going and noting that like he, she's obviously not ready for motherhood she wants to still be young and not have like a response any kind of responsibility yeah. she just wants to play in her little rock band yeah essentially she probably just wants to get famous and cereal. be a rocker yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. she loves cereal she does. um and so cereal's good and so they it end is. up going to the girls they're gonna go meet with them at this f- hospital and the yeah. facility some type of place um child like psychiatry yeah um, um building basically a little cage for the girls um because they go into this room where they see them um and they're kind of looking at them first through this window thing and they're obviously yeah, getting like told mirror kind of thing. they're obviously or, getting told it honestly just looked like a regular freaking mirror. plexiglass. Yeah. Like when you go look at babies, like in a baby room. Oh yeah. Um, but they, they're getting told like, obviously like the, they were in the woods. They aren't used to people. Their formative years were spent, you know, they're like basically straight up wild. Animals. Yeah, exactly. The and way so, they move mm-hmm. and everything. So they were just like caution going in. They might not remember you at all, you know, and this is why they're acting this way. Yeah. Um, and I, mm-hmm. whenever he came in and like hands, he approaches Victoria mm-hmm. because I'm pretty sure Lily was like, absolutely the fuck not get back. Yeah. <laughs> and then he hands her the glasses and I was like, bitch, how, how did you get her prescription right? I don't know. You don't think for it changed, five I'm sure. years it changed. being without your her glasses that her eyesight didn't get dramatically worse? Mine got worse in, in four mm-hmm. years. Yeah. I just went and got my eye exam done, and mine got pretty pretty bad. I need to go and get mine done. I haven't done it in And I've been wearing glasses the whole time. <clears throat> yeah, you're supposed to go like every year. I've yeah. had the same glasses for four years. So. I feel that. I well, was I bought me two for pairs. A few years. And then when my one broke, I had to wear this one. Dumb. Mm-hmm. I feel you. Um, Yeah, I don't know how, what, maybe they, but they honestly could have maybe checked her eyes there in the process yeah. and then made some. And then not given them to her until yeah, they could. Well, yeah, maybe they felt like it was more like. A trusting thing. Bond, maybe he type gives of situation. Her sight. Mm, and she loves him. Yes. There we she, go. Because she says, Daddy. Yeah, she does. Because she he thinks looks it's her fucking dad. Exactly like her fucking dad. He could have just said guy. yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. Honestly. Sorry about that. I got lost. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got <laughs> lost from right behind you. And, um, but yeah, and I'm back now. So I'm your dad now. Um, So they're going through all of that. He's <gasps> talking to her and she's obviously... She kind of warms up a lot faster than Lily does. Um, yes. We're talking, we're going through a whole process of um, their psychiatrist, dude. What's his name? Dr. Uh, Leviathan. I'm Doofus. Doofus. There we go. Doofenshmirtz. Dr. Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> and uh, he's going over how he wants them to take the kids into this house. Um, then it's court ordered that everything, all bills will be paid for um, if they take these girls to this house so that way they can be monitored. Because basically. they've created this um, because of their like being abandoned oh, that's and right. having to live on their own. They like naturally created this imaginary Mother and figure quotes, guardian to mm-hmm. take care of them that they call mama. Yeah. And it's just, so he's like, I've never seen anything like this. Yeah. I, he wants to study he's them. He's a doctor. Yeah. He wants to study them for his personal gain. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was writing like a book. We exactly. find out. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, he was like, I need them to be in this house. You can live there rent free and you know, you can get custody of the kids because we went through, Oh, and yeah, like where we end up going and seeing that when they go into the courtroom with mm-hmm. Jean, who yeah. is the ex-wife's sister. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And he, I don't know. It was just like, yeah, you she can, was real mean. Well, Jean already from the get, you can tell she's like a Karen role. She's just like a real yeah. hella bitch. I mean, but like, obviously I can kind of get like maybe like, I mean, her sister was shot. Those are her kids that were taken into the woods. Like, yeah, I don't but know. Lucas never did. And she did like point out she was like, Lucas, you know, never once gave up looking for his brother and mm-hmm. the girls. And he did this all out of the kindness of his heart, not for any sort of gain. And his you know, overall, just general, how much he cares about for the girls. So mm-hmm. if he still cares for them, he should not take them in because she yeah. was like, your salary and yeah. your apartment is mm-hmm. not conducive for like raising two yeah. children who are also in need of a lot of 
yeah. help in therapy. And so a lot of this too basically was like the workings of the Dr. Doofenshmirtz too, because for his personal gain of wanting to write the book, convinced the courts that if they moved into this house and it was all like sanctioned by him and whatever, whatever, which that is like, it honestly, would all work it seemed out. like a pretty good deal, deal to be age. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, okay, you get the girls, you get this house mm-hmm. rent free, like sell they your fucking pay, apartment. they get therapy for free, like all the things that they yeah. need. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like as long as you're not like, if it's you need help with performing. like dealing with some wild animal child you got from the woods, you have a doctor there to help you already. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mm-hmm. don't think you can really think of a better setup. Really? Because mm-hmm. I mean, as long as they're not like performing super invasive procedures and like opening up their brains and shit, like, yeah. Yeah. Sign me up. It's like a gander. But we'll find out how that happens. Yeah. Mm. And now, a word from our sponsors. From the host of the popular podcast, The Only One in the Room, Stash by Laura Cathcart Robbins is a propulsive and vivid memoir about the journey to sobriety and self-love amidst addiction, privilege, racism, and self-sabotage. Best-selling author Holly Whitaker calls it an irresistibly delicious story. And MacArthur Foundation fellow and best-selling author Kiese Lehman says Stash is emotionally riveting. Buy Stash by Laura Cathcart Robbins now, wherever books are sold. As if the McCrispy couldn't get any better, Bacon and Ranch just entered the chat. The Bacon Ranch McCrispy, available at participating McDonald's for a limited time. ba da ba 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 But yeah, so they work out that whole deal. They do work out that whole deal. And, and then we, we to. transition to Dr. Doofenshmirtz uh, <laughs> talking to... <laughs> I just call uh, him Doc. I Doc, think in my notes. Dr. Doof. I like Dr. Doofenshmirtz. I do too. Um, so reminds me of Phineas and Ferb. Yeah. That's the only thing it should remind you of. <laughs> really? Uh, honestly. Yeah. I guess that's true. <laughs> He's like, I don't think there's a whole bunch of other Dr. Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> it's like the Doctor Who series, yeah. but Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Dr. Um, Doofenshmirtz. And so, yeah, she's talking, he's talking to um, Victoria and is asking her questions about mama because essentially his whole thing is trying to figure out, or, or more so, I think at this point, his running theory is that she has DID and has developed a whole other personality mm-hmm. called mama that took care of her and Lily. Yeah. Um, yeah. Among other theories, probably. Especially um, after mm-hmm. hearing this, because as we find out later, too, that she hasn't been super receptive to any of the treatment up mm-hmm. until this six hypnotherapy session, which yeah. is what we're viewing right now. Right now. Yeah. Which we don't know that that's the sixth one, but yeah. we find it out later. Mm-hmm. Um, and while he's talking with her and stuff, she's basically like, she talks about this woman who ran away from a hospital for sad people. It's mama's life story. Yeah. And took her baby and jumped into the water. Yeah. And he was like, how do you know the story? And she said, she showed me to be in a tree in a tree. Yeah. And uh, he's like, well, what happened to the baby? And she's like, well, she, I don't know. She can't show me. She doesn't know what happened to the baby. She can't find it. She can't find it. She doesn't know. Mm hmm. Yep. And then we're going, we're getting to the house now Mm -hmm. and they come out of the car and I was like, Victoria's starting to look normal again, but little one is still looking fucking weird. Yeah. Just like, (laughs) looks like she was digging in dirt all the time. Like really rough. Her hair. Yeah. uh And like Victoria's hair is nice and kind of styled Mm -hmm. and stuff. And she's in like normal clothes and shoes, Yeah, which is great. And I think the little one still, Lily doesn't even want to put shoes on at this point still, right? She's barefoot. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. she was yeah. she was barefoot. Yeah, and her okay. cut her feet had little cuts on mm-hmm. them. I was gonna say her cuts had. She was feet. gross. <laughs> she needed a little bath. <laughs> Can you imagine if all your little cuts had they grew little tiny feet. feet. Oh lord, <laughs> that's a horror movie. <laughs> yeah, that's something for Guillermo Guillermo del Toro to do. Okay, I'm gonna let make. you say his name because every time I try to say Guillermo, I like. I even trip I'm up on it. <laughs> it's, it's a hard one. It's the double L and the right into Guillermo. the U B R M O. Yeah. Um, but and I, can, I cannot roll and my then the R. Um, so Guillermo. we have, and then Annabelle is like immediately on the like get go of them like walking up to her. They're kind of right in front of the house. <laughs> um, little Lily is like Mama, and she's like, I'm not your mama. She's like, No, no you can call me anything else but that. Yeah, so already we're getting from like Annie is not down for it. She's like, yeah, yo, don't call me that. She is, she is the dad who didn't want to get a cat, 
Yeah. But then ends up loving them the most. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's her with Victoria. That's her role. Mm -hmm. Just Victoria, (laughs) though, because Lily's a little bitch. Um, Lily likes her a little bit when she breathes on her hands. A little bit. (laughs) Very transactional. Um, You breathe on my hands. I like you. (laughs) I like you. That's it. Um, and they have all oh, their little dots and it's so cute. They have Aww. this little chunky dots in that we see a few times and named it's named handsome, handsome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was their dachshund who was at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. It was her dog. It was her family's dog prior, yeah. which um, is, they took it in. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we he's have such a good boy. He's a very good boy. We have them uh, getting ready for bedish, I guess, and that's whenever My we have. Was, I swear, if one of them eats the dog, I was imagining the it kids were going to be like exactly. I was like, oh my god, Lily's going to be like, this is like a rat. Oh, this rat is the one where the dog doesn't die. Dog Usually, doesn't dogs die. always die in scary movies. This I one know. doesn't. It's so good. I was, I was. That's why I put it because I was like, I swear, if one of them eats the dog and I just repress this memory and I don't remember it, then. But thankfully, they repressing did dog death. Yep, sounds about right. Yeah. Um, and he's so chunky, he's so cute. He's got a little round belly. He does. Um, so we have the Lily. She's sleeping under the bed, like literally under the bed. With under like vines wrapped around her. I, I don't know. It looked like Lucas pulled on some vines and just like, to what? make her more comfortable. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I would have just went and got one of them little uh at H E B them little kitty pools that are like pink that are like twelve bucks. Yeah. And like put some dirt in it and I put some grass know. and just there you go. Put you can sleep through in some this? like kibble, yeah, and then there you go. <laughs> some little bird seed, some bird seed, <laughs> uh, cherries. That's cherries, what it, cherries yeah, that's would what have been need. perfect. Yeah, <laughs> um, I mean, honestly, too, though, it's if you think about it, too, though, I kind of get it with Lily. Um, essentially, obviously, she, she still had, infant. yeah, she, and she still had like this whole um spirit <laughs> hanging around so obviously that was still lingering and keeping her yeah. in that mentality but she was a baby and like that's all when that's all you know like it probably would take her months and months to break out of that as opposed to like they wanted her to just sleep in the bed like normal you know yeah on the first exactly. night she's yeah. never known it, like never remembered anything so, um, i hate to break it to you she ain't ever gonna be normal no. <laughs> like never like yeah. she could probably get like 99 percent there but they're never gonna be exactly. like i was trying to think of like people who were like mole people growing up and um, stuff well, do you know mole people <laughs> no Caitlin? no but like in the real life cases <laughs> okay. or like how many mole people the friends? jungle book <laughs> yeah trying, or that. tarzan uh-huh, uh-huh trying to think of mowgli and all that oh yeah yeah. Yeah. That is hilarious. Um, <laughs> that was, I was trying in my brain. I was like, I yeah. guess she does have some hope. I believe the little girl's actor didn't actually, um, actress, she doesn't actually speak a lot of English, and that's why her dialogue is so limited. In uh, the film. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah that probably, then that helped she, a lot too. She does say like five words. It's like, Mama, chalk. Victoria. <laughs> That's true. Come, oh, and even mama. when she does say Victoria, she has like this little accent. That's true. It does Victoria. have like this Victoria. Bollywood's <laughs> above. <laughs> S- Sotness. Dude, that thing, that song stays in my head. Literally, TikTok is over here possessing people, I'm sure. I love um, it. And so we have um, <laughs> the, what's even happening? She's sleeping under their bed and pines. We have Lily, or Victoria, like we said, is being really normal up at this point, really. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's whenever we have the. Um, that lady just, coming in talking right. to Dr. Doofenshmirtz, mm-hmm. saying that. There's no history of any of asylums or anything like within the past five years is what she was looking at. Yeah. And there's no like asylums or anything nearby. Corroborate that story that Victoria told. Yeah. The closest one was 200 miles away, Mm -hmm. she says. But then she says, but there is St. Gertrude Asylum by Guthod Lake or something. Mm -hmm. And that's five miles away. And he's like. You just told me that there were no asylums. But she's like, because it was in 18 something something. It was shut down in 1878. Yeah. And there was a person named Edith Brennan. And I said, damn, Mm -hmm. Del Toro also really likes the fucking name Edith. Because also Mm -hmm. Edith Mm -hmm. from Crimson Crimson Peak. Peak. Yeah. Yeah. And so then I was like, oh, what if this, like, I imagine what if like Edith didn't actually ever get out and recover from that Crimson Peak. And because that was kind of similar time period mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then what if she went into an asylum whenever she came back to oh the States i get what you mean and uh-huh. then went crazy and her face got all distorted and stuff and mm. then she jumped with the baby and then she's just kind of like all the other ghosts this from crimson like peak whole storyline yeah yeah and then like that's why there's together. black moths again mm-hmm. and stuff like that and i so like that idea that was that was my uh 
that's where my brain rolled with it. I can see it. Well, and yeah. it's Guillermo del Toro. So like you it's can, all in the uh, same world. Yeah, it's all in that same universe. The ghosties kind of look the same. It's the um the she who? got oh, brown they do, hair yeah. instead of blonde. The stress yeah. turned her hair brown. It's the the G D T universe. Mm-hmm. Cinematic universe. Yes. Um, and so we have um Lily at this point, we hear Lily playing with someone, and that's whenever we kind of get a view. assume it's Victoria. We assume it's Victoria, but then we see Victoria pop up, like, in the hallway because we get this kind of really cool but weird shot where it's, like, you see Lily's room, Lily and Victoria's room, but you're also seeing the hallway, and you're also seeing, like, the stairway, and you see that, um, what's-her-face, Miss Annabelle, is doing, like, laundry or something at this point. Yeah, she's doing laundry down the hall because her room is at the very end of the hall, Mm -hmm. and so the door's open. You can kind of see her doing that, and then Victoria pops up from around the stairs, Yeah, and that's when you go, I thought this was a really cool shot, too. It was, Because you really think she's playing with with Victoria, but then you see Victoria, and then you're like, wait, wait a minute. (laughs) Who is she playing with? And then you see her, like, start flying around Mm -hmm. in the freaking room. And Lily's just laughing. Literally. (laughs) Yeah. And this gives very much The Conjuring 2. Yeah. Uh, We saw freaking Janet floating in the room. (laughs) Literally. Um, And so that's whenever I think Miss Annie was about to go check it out to see what's going on. But then, and I think because Victoria knew that that was obviously mama and she didn't want Annabelle to get hurt she distracts her with being like handsome is outside and I think he wants to come in or something like mm-hmm. that so she distracts her and, and like, she goes to take care of there. handsome yeah but he's crying yeah so she turns around yeah and then this is where the lights start flickering in the house mm-hmm. and she goes downstairs and she's in the kitchen and this is where motherfucking Lily pops up like a goddamn gargoyle oh yeah on the island that's right and scares the fuck so out of her terrifying yeah. I was like, Lily, what the fuck? I would shit myself. I literally put Lily WTF. And then at this point, too, I'm thinking, like, where's Luke? Where's Luke been? Because these are literally your kids, Luke. Yeah. But also, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, damn, she's being like, most of the time, if it's a partner and something like that, like, if they all of a sudden had to come into, I'm not like the biggest proponent for kids all the time, Mm -hmm. but like, if my partner had to, all of a sudden take care of their nieces and nephews or that were in the woods for like five years. Yeah, like, yeah. I would be really supportive. Yeah. I don't know. Cause what else I could also you do? don't really want to be a mom. But <laughs> it also depends. On the the, time. I mean, there's circumstances like I'm, uh, how long have they been dating? How much do you love this person? How much do you want to That's like, true. Uh, yeah. Um, like, cause if, if you were just dating, like, cause I mean, any partner I've had before Andrew, most of the time I was just like, ah. I'm just dating you. And there's no future. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so this is for now. Yeah. Nah, at that ah, point. Ah, 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 mm-hmm. ah, ah, ow. Um, and so yeah, we have I'm seeing them on Saturday. Oh ACL. Or Sunday. Fun. Fun, yeah. fun, fun. Um, I might try to get a ticket. Oh my god, Scalp do it. a ticket. Oh my god, please come. Um the yeah, mama is watching um I believe everything that's going on between Annie and, and yeah, they the were, kids. Yeah. They were, oh, she was watching Annie and Luke make out. That's right. I was like, bedroom. wait, what was happening? Yeah. They were making out. She's and watching them. That's when Annie because sees, Annie her. sees her. That's right. And she freaks out and she's like, <gasps> she's, there's someone here. Yeah. There's someone here. And then whenever they go to check on the kids, mama like locks them out mm-hmm. too. And so yeah. that's and like, then they're kind of like, uh, what the heck? Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure they, at this point they think it's just the kids like acting out. Well, um, but this is where then she's like, no, I saw someone you yeah. need to go throughout the house and check it out. And then this is where he finds this the weird hole? black spot growing mm-hmm. in the wall and it looks m- moist. Um, it does. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we see a moth emerge from a it. A moth comes from it, which gives me very GDT as mm-hmm. well. Guillermo del Toro. Um, and they, um, and there were some pretty moths, but yeah. yeah, then these little, uh, her little fingies pop right through, right and through, <laughs> and it just pushes him off, yeah. pushes him over the railing, also like Crimson Peak. Oh, it does, yeah. Just like and that. I'm wondering how in the world, I mean, obviously he was unconscious, mm-hmm. but I was just like, how is he alive? Yeah, because most people probably wouldn't survive that. Yeah, but he ends it up surviving rough. it, uh huh, because the um. The dudes in this movie survive a lot, like f- driving off a cliff and falling off stairs. Mm-hmm. And he ends up in the hospital. And um, we get a little veggie masher commercial mm-hmm. that reminded me of, or like a, it was like a chopping commercial. Yeah, for, uh, the veggie chop. But it reminded me of the veggie masher commercial mm. from VHS. And then Oh, you're right. Lily's sitting there going, chop, 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 chop. 
And I was yeah. like, Ugh. creepy little kid. <laughs> I don't like that. I wouldn't want her around. I'd be fine with Victoria, but I'd be like, can we just like, can the other one stay at the hospital with you? The first time Lily popped up, like how she did, I would yeah. be like, no. And then there's another scene. And when they were watching the footage of them at the beginning too, when Dr. Diefenschwerns was talking to them, mm-hmm. there was this one scene where Lily was just like, sitting there like you know hunched almost in like a s- upright fetal position but yeah. then her head was just propped on her knees sideways and her eyes were just open and it was so a night weird. vision so she was just like <laughs> yeah I, like, oh. I wonder if they're nocturnal the moment i saw that i would have been like but if they're nocturnal yes they might be yeah because mama if they could were be. if they were brought up that way um on that schedule um their circadian t- rhythm circadian. whatever time circadian yeah. i love that word it sounds like a dr circadian Arcadia. anyways i don't know but anyways we have them um uh, basically it's just going to be annie and the girls for a little while because he's in the freaking hospital which yeah. kind of sucks for annabelle who never even wanted kids in the first place she's like i didn't sign up for this and, and lily like- is being freaking creepy at night mm-hmm. so it just makes it even the more like harder to deal with um and we're looking at um I oh yeah because my note here just says oh i cannot look that little one yeah no like, she's being yeah, i was like she's being creepy as fuck and then the next day we have um i believe what's her face annie's looking at like all of their wall drawings and stuff and it's mm-hmm. just like showing like mama and like how she's bent around and it looks really yeah, creepy and walks, like it's like she walks in you know when you have to crab walk yeah where you're like on all fours mm-hmm. but your stomach is in the upright position hmm yeah. Do it. You have the headphones on, remember? Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's very much like that. Yeah, it's like for, like, gym. Like, when you were in, like, fifth grade, and they would make you do, like, 50 jumping jacks and then gym and then do, like, two suicides crab and walk. then crab walk back. Yeah. And then walk like a bear. Yeah. Walk like a bear. <laughs> Did you see it? One. Yeah. Okay. Good. Mom, did you see it? Mom, did you see it? Um, yeah, but she uh, it, she's sorry. very creepy. <laughs> um, use your imaginations, you guys. And so it looked exactly like that's Mama whenever walks. I believe we He's also have everything. Um, the old lady um, that Doctor Doofenshmirtz was talking to earlier found in public records that um, right was this his part? No, um, no. Yeah, I think that's a little bit further. Later. You're right. My bad. This is a different part. It's just that I've. In my notes, I have public records found something. I have um, weird moaning coming from closet, and then I say, "Oh, it was a dream." <laughs> um, yeah, because um, what's her face? Annie is having the dream yeah. at that point. Um, oh, and then she finds the weird toy doll mm-hmm. that looks like the one they found in the woods. Yeah. Yes. And it reminds me. Have you ever made those like all spice like? With it? it was a very like '90s thing, but it was like a an air freshener slash um, Christmas ornament where you would bake like this. No. All mm-hmm. space, like all spice kind of cookie, but it was not edible. Oh, okay. And you would put little raisins and stuff into it and yeah. bake it. That's and it would what just smell good. Like. And you yeah. would just put it somewhere to like odor arise mm-hmm. the air. No, I've never heard of that, but that sounds really It was like a Caucasian. All spice play doh. <laughs> <laughs> An all spice play doh. <laughs> Get but on this play doh. But you would put like <laughs> what in it? Like little raisins and cloves like currants and, and yeah, stuff cloves, that cinnamon sticks and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you would just like make huh. little designs and That's take cool. cookie cutters and then you'd Ooh. bake them and then it was not um no, for eating that. but they looked very edible they, they were holding out good. on me i probably ate one as a kid i don't know i ate so many my family things. wasn't like that festive oh this wasn't my family it was something that we did in school oh really why didn't we fucking do that in school okay, then this was when i was in north carolina oh i did well, a lot of weird things north carolina in north carolina like i took spanish in kindergarten um I, habla espanol. I can count to 10 <laughs> <laughs> um and i know Montequilla. Oh, butter? Butter. Cute. That yeah. was from working in chet- at Cheddar's. Mm-hmm. And so. That comes like, in handy. Like, ah. For the butter croissants. I think uh, they would just yell that. Oh, yeah. That makes <laughs> sense. That's cute. It's a cute name. It's um, a cute word. But then that was also the school name. where. Oh, that should be yours. Mantequilla. I love it. Mm-hmm. Ah, I'm obsessed. I need to see that now. Um, But that was also the same school that where I spent the night at my kindergarten teacher's mm, house. That's so questionable. We did a bunch of things that I don't that know. That you probably can't do nowadays. Like things. I don't mm. think you're supposed to have. Well, I guess home ec was the thing. Wake it was a like K through 12. Mm, I thought one of those schools. Yeah. Those. Yeah. I get So they those. probably had home ec and that's probably why we had ovens. I probably. don't know. 
it seems like one of those schools where it's like all the teachers know it. like it's a very small like I'm sure yeah. it was very small yeah, I remember yeah. eating lunch with being a kindergartner and then being surrounded by like giant people mm. they were big kids little kindergartner <laughs> Caitlin kid in North Carolina and bangs um and so at this point uh we have uh lily eating paper um uh, <laughs> uh, mama is doing very mama-ish things um and she's basically it's kind of like a haunting but not a haunting she's just trying to get lily back yeah um yeah. And, and then this is where i believe that they oh yeah no 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 okay yes Oh, I, I just have, she's literally so rough with them. Annie really was. She was so kind of. She was a little rough with them, like, oh just God. a little bit. But I mean, honestly, when you're dealing with that, I, at one point, I, I put Lily as being very bitchy. Like, I don't know what's wrong, what Lily was doing at that point, but <laughs> Lily was just not. I remember at one point she was like, no. Yeah. To them. Um, I used a different word, actually. I didn't even want to say what it was. Oh. <laughs> God. She was being a very see you next Tuesday. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but um, at one point, too, I'm like, I don't know why my notes are so disheveled at this point, you guys. But it's like, oh, no, handsome. Because I think something was going to happen with Mr. Handsome. Um, but I think it was just a little red herring. Nothing even happened with him. Um, but, yeah, the girls are up playing. And that's whenever um, Annie Annabelle. walks in. Yeah. And, and that's whenever she thinks that it's... Um, someone's in the closet one of the girls but it's not one of the girls and she's like who's in the closet and then I, yeah, Victoria's I thought like, this was the part that creeped me out the mm -hmm. most and it was yeah because she walks in and there's and like a little shadowy thing it I believe it's the she's covered in the blanket yeah right and it, yeah and it's not Lily though and it's not Lily yes mm -hmm. and that's whenever it goes and slip does this little thing and slips into the closet and mm -hmm. then she's like wait a minute and then she tries to go in and that's when Victoria's like don't look in there yeah and she does the smart thing and actually closes it and doesn't look in there um which is the only smart decision anyone ever makes in any in uh, horror, film. horror from film ever yeah yeah Ooh, scary yeah. but then later on Annabelle wakes to hearing the humming yeah. And another voice coming from the girls room. She because the girls had been singing humming a little song. Did I skip something? I probably did. Well, uh, no, you're fine. No, um, because the it? girls did. No, I was trying to catch up. No, you're good. The girls do sing that song that mama sings to them. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's like a little nursery rhyme. Um, and Annie's hearing it. And yeah, that's when she's like. Victoria's warning her against going in the mm -hmm. closet and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't go okay. in the closet. I'm like trying to find. And I'm just like. Um, but she for sure heard her that time. And like, yeah. so then she rightfully freaks out and she's like, she calls Dr. Doofenshmirtz and is like, yo, I heard the woman. Yeah. She's like, like I heard mama. She's in there. And then that was when Dr. Doofenshmirtz says Victoria is showing signs of dissociative personality disorder mm -hmm. and is literally taking on the role of mama. And she was like, no, this voice was significantly deeper. Yeah, it but wasn't hers. I guess she could have like I don't know. Maybe she was possessed, and some I feel people like some can people have two do, tones. I was about to their, say um, when they so. have multiple personalities or different yeah. personalities. Um, but yes, um, and um, all of that's going on. A lot is going on apparently in my notes. Um, the mama, uh, I think Lily again, because no, oh, no, no, no. Do we have the finally we have the lady? Yes. To, yes. Going yeah. to Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Yeah. My last note says Lily is so fucking weird. And then I have her. I like her little quote that she says because she's taking him through saying like, I found a little bit more. And this yeah. is like where the stuff is kept where they don't really <clears throat> want to remember it kind of thing. Yeah. Well, uh, the, essentially, these are body parts and remains yeah. that are of people that have passed away that are in evidence that they're just cold cases. Essentially. That no one's come to claim. Them. And she says, frankly, I believe body parts or remains should be in the ground or like, you know, something properly, properly taken care of, placed, laid to blessed, rest. exactly. Yeah. As opposed Not to being here. In an evidence box in mm -hmm. a giant warehouse. And then she says this really good um line that also reminds me of crimson peak mm -hmm. and it says a ghost and is a ghost is an emotion bent out of shape condemned to repeat itself until it writes the wrong it's done yes and then funny. hands him a box and it's, he's it's like what's remains. this and he goes she says the wrong mm -hmm. and i was like oh yeah <laughs> and it's the baby remains he doesn't look at it right there but we can assume that it's the baby remains mm -hmm. um yeah and so at this point again i put lily is playing with someone again what the fuck wtf um and that's whenever um 
we have her playing with little uh, Lily, but then I believe Mama comes up right behind Annabelle at mm-hmm. this point, and mm-hmm. she really is like oh, right up on her. Yeah. It's one of it those a, jump scares. It was a very fast one, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and it. I'm laughing in my notes, so I imagine it must have like kind of got me a little, a little bit. goofy. Yeah, and then a little like ah, yeah, for sure, because it Maybe is very like, fast. Oh. Mama moves very fast, just like how the little girls do that little yeah moments. Yeah, not a fan. Um, terrifying. And so, yeah, it's very terrifying, and it's also taken from the little short that they had. As a clip that I saw from it, it has her moving very fast. It's actually more creepy in the short minute clip. Mm. You should watch it. I am going to. Um, and so we have Luke having a dream at this point too. Um, he's at the hospital. It's showing all these different things happening, and he's having a bad dream. Um, but yeah, like the it way almost it, seems like kind of like a vision yeah because it is a, it is it foreboding. is a vision. it's yeah. a warning but like simultaneously you're also seeing all of his vitals and shit mm-hmm. getting fucked with and the computer's like just typing mama 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 mm-hmm. m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-m-a-
a, she has a day that she comes to like visit the girls. It's already set. And Miss Annie forgot that this was her day to come. So the girls don't look the best. The house looks a mess. And that's whenever Jean starts getting really judgmental. And then Annie's like, you know what, bitch, get the fuck out. Yeah. And so she tells her to she's get like, out. Get the hell out of my she's house like, before I kick your she's ass. She's like, see you next time. See you next week. And so that's whenever, of course, Miss Aunt Karen calls social services. And she's the like, the moment I'd, she gets in the car. Yeah. And it's like, I'd like to report um, some child negligence. Um, and that's what. What do I do if I believe my <clears throat> nieces are being abused? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So lame. So lame, Karen. But also um, great to do if. If Your children are, are being, being abused, abused, but not in this situation. Yeah. Um, and so that's whenever we figure out that um I believe Dr. Doofenshmirtz's, right? We go back to him. He's talking to Victoria. Yeah, I mm-hmm. think so. And mm-hmm. um Because he's trying to ask her like where mama is and stuff was and all that stuff. I oh, think yeah. this was and the number seven. Yeah, and we're getting at the same time a phone call between Lucas and Annie mm. where he's basically saying like She's being a That's very right. a little unsupportive oh, again. Oh shit! Yes, and saying like she doesn't really like. I didn't sign up for this. Like, hurry up and get better so you can come watch them. And he's like, obviously, like they're going to be the most important thing in the world to me. And she's and like, them, not me. Yeah, and mm-hmm. he's like, well, fucking clearly, dude. Like, this is his actual family. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah. What? Who were? Who There's a little understanding along. on both sides, but yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. But that's like, uh, I, I feel like the whole idea of when some parents get, give birth and then get jealous of their spouse, giving the child more attention than they oh, are that's to just them. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, that's your child. Yeah. That's your child. Mm-hmm. But okay. It's your child too. Yeah. Um, And so we have Dr. Dupin shirts with Victoria asking her like, where's mama? She's, he's like, did she come with you? Um, all these kind of uh, questions. And it, it really escalates quite quickly. It really does. Because then yeah. he starts yelling at her. He does. And I was like, Boy, you are a professional. I was like, what the fuck? You're supposed to be. Is his name Gerald? That sounds... Gerald Doofenshmirtz. Dr. Gerald Doofenshmirtz. Because I was like, Gerald, what the fuck? Helvetica. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's yelling at her. Poor thing's been through a lot. And he's just trying to use her for his book. Um, but nonetheless, um, that's whenever... Uh, at this point we have, um, I just have putting two and two together and Annabelle's having a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. And he basically leaves from the house. He's like, I was like, Oh, mama going to get you, sir. Oh, that's right. Because after he yells at her, Victoria kind of looks like up in the corner and he's oh, like, Oh, that's Ooh, right. Hard pass. And then when he walks out the house, he sees a figure in the window. Mm-hmm. That's right. And he says, <laughs> and he's like, oh, what's wrong? And he was like, nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. And just scurries out of the house. And I'm like, bitch, don't lie and say nothing as yeah. you're literally running from the house. He's literally leaving like you're because not, he's getting a little spooky ooky vibe. You're not convincing anyone. Yeah. And then he realizes that there is a connection between hell. How are we saying it? Helvisha. I don't Hel-Visha. know. We're not saying any specific way. <laughs> In the house. Uh-huh. Uh, basically, he's like, okay, there's some sort of connection. And that's yeah. when he's connecting two and two together. Mm-hmm. And so he starts heading to Clifton Forge. Mm-hmm. To go um, to the cabin. But yes, now Jessica. Nope. Annabelle Annie <laughs> is having a nightmare. Having this. And this flashback. Intense nightmare. It was a little plan. Yeah. It's comical. whenever It is because we see that um, we're basically seeing um, what happened to Mama. Um, and Edith. We, Edith. And we go Brennan. back to whenever she was basically um, in an insane asylum because she had something wrong with her. And she was de- she was pregnant, gave birth to her baby and was deemed unfit to like raise her child. So they took her child away from her. And then she ended up going and attacking and killing like these nuns or yeah, whatever. I'm assuming they were choosing yeah. to raise the child in a convent. Yeah, exactly. Kills them. And then with a, ends some up, sort of a knee- knitting needle, I don't know. which yeah. also reminded me of the conjuring, an but actual best she kills was. them and is able to get away with the baby. And then she just gets chased by a mob until she then ends up going to a cliff. And then when she jumps off the cliff because there's nowhere else to go, apparently, she um, falls off and goes down. And then we see like this branch, and th- yeah. there's more to it later, but yeah, for sure. A branch, it's, her body hits the branch, we uh-huh. see, and then. Eventually, I believe we see her actually hit the water. She hits the water, And the baby is still up there. Yeah. And um, so now we know what happened to the baby. And as Edith's body actually hits the water, Annabelle kind of wakes from her dream. Mm -hmm. So (gasps) we think. Like that. We think she's woken Mm -hmm. up. But then Mm -hmm. she's. She it's looks still over, a dream. Yeah. Yeah. And Victoria is staring at her, Mm -hmm. which is terrifying because Victoria's just like. 
next to her bed like scared mm. that's what terrifies me about having kids is them just walking up in the middle yeah. of the night and sitting there and be like mama like just Papua staring at up. me and then there's, she's looking at something under the bed. We hear something under the bed. Annabelle's like, oh, my God, there's something under the bed. She's and like, then, Victoria, what's under the bed? Yeah, and then Mama comes up and, then like, attacks her, And we get a we get a pretty good view of her face there, too. Mm-hmm. And I was we like, do. actually, her face is pretty creepy. It's very scary. I, I think, I and I said this with Crimson Peak as well, I believe Del Toro actually does a phenomenal job of oh, yeah. his monsters. They're oh, yeah. horrifying, but they're also beautiful. They're beautiful. Uh-huh. And so I really do enjoy whenever they eye. show. Yeah, he the does. Creature design. He does. Mm-hmm. And then um, her gargling is super weird. Mm-hmm. She, this is where she comes up over the bed and she's like. <laughs> she does. <laughs> super creepy. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, that's that. And then at this point, I believe we also have it's all with happening at during nighttime. Um, Lily mm-hmm. is getting. Um, sh- What's her face? Mama wants to take Mama's Lily with her. She's trying to window. take her. Yeah. <laughs> and she wants to take Lily with her out the window. And Lily is trying to tell Victoria, like, Victoria, come. And Victoria's like, Victoria, stay. And yeah. like turns the other way. It's we kind of a like really a sad moment between the sisters. Hair come out the through window. the window. And the way, yeah, whenever she's like, whenever Victoria, she says. She stays. And she turns over. And the uh, way that Lily's Lily starts sad. like hitting her. Like, yeah. Victoria, come. Yeah. Mama. And you can hear Victoria crying. Yeah. yeah. And that's when she finally flips around. It's like, Victoria, stay. Yeah. And I was like, It's a very Aw. sad moment. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Vic- Lily does end up leaving. But Through at the, the fucking same, window. Yeah. But what? at the same it's time, a story. we have we ha- Supernatural. At the same time, we have Gerald showing up at the cabin. And he is trying to look into this. He's trying to, uh, of course, like everyone does, elicit a response from the spirit. And, and he's I don't like, trying to talk to her. Like yeah. That. And he's trying to talk to her. And then obviously we start hearing Mama's like noise is those little yeah and then he brings out a camera and it reminds me of that noise whenever it's like uh the night to texas chainsaw massacre Bing. Bing. and yeah. he's taking photos and every time he takes a photo obviously we see the spirit of mama and it's like this very you know if you have and um, you don't get him for the first like probably five no, yeah. photos mm-hmm. but then she finally does start emerging popping up and, and she gets like, super ah! close and then starts attacking him very violently and then she and fucking snaps his neck and the camera's still going Good. it's like continuing to yep. flash i don't know if he had some sort of weird nighttime Timer, yeah. burst on or something even though he was also because he's like i know your time. name because uh, guy this is not the conjuring yeah. and you're not the warrens <laughs> but um yeah you're so he gets killed an exorcism. off and then the next morning we find lily is outside in the bushes asleep mm-hmm. and it's freezing cold outside apparently and when annie gets up she has a weird mark on the back of oh, her that's neck right. yeah and i was like is it feeding on her which I do believe it was um, because whenever it was under the bed before, like Uh you saw her like burying her face into the mattress under right underneath her. And he was sleeping, which is the idea of something coming from within the mattress. So scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like in the Conjuring Three, the devil Monsters made me do it. inside me. Yeah, that's true. When in the waterbed, mm-hmm. never. I'm glad that movie didn't come out when I had a waterbed because I would have. <laughs> Freaked out. I would have. I would have been sleeping on the ground outside, like Lily. They would have. Well, they would have had to have gotten rid of the waterbed. Um, yep. But yes, um, we have um, Lily outside. It's freezing. She gets Annie finds her and she brings her inside and she wants to warm her up. And Lily's being a little bitch again. She's like straight up grappling she's like with f- Lily, fighting her. And the way she's got her leg, literally. Like and Lily's just like <laughs> stop. And so finally, she gets her to stop. And she's like breathing on her hands, and Lily's like, "Oh my god, that actually feels really fucking nice." I like this. Yeah. What is this warm and presence, not looks, a cold she ghost she presence? Looks at her very like kind of warmingly at that point. I think for the first time, I put, "Aw, Lily sees a mama." In yeah, her. and that's whenever I think we already see like, "Oh shit, this is gonna be bad for Annie," <laughs> because Mama, as we know, gets very jealous. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. And so, um, um. I um, love the way that next she's like nailing the window shut. Oh, and that's it was right. really cute. And she was like, Windows bad. What do we do if we want to go outside? And Victoria's like, use the stairs. And then yeah. she goes, Lily. And Lily goes, Use the stairs. Use the stairs. It was really literally. cute. Mm-hmm. I was like, and, and then you can even see it's a Annie's really big face. moment for all like character growth. Cause mm-hmm. then even Annie, I think at that point, is like, 
oh, I can do this. This yeah. is cool. She kind of smiles mm-hmm. and is like, oh, I yeah. had a nice that's kinda cute. moment yeah. with this child now. Um, and then that's whenever This is we where they're cooking breakfast. That's right. Because I don't know what the fuck Victoria pulled off that stove, but it uh, looked like it looked weird bad. gray noodles. Yeah. And I was like, ew. I was like, whatever. Because also, why is Victoria cooking breakfast and not you, Annie? <laughs> exactly. Because we also think that Annie thinks that uh, oh, this Lily, is where Lily, this is was the, in the closet. Corner. That's right. And yeah. then she thinks Lily is in the closet, but it's not Lily. It's really Mama. And then she's like, don't go in the closet. And then she doesn't go in the closet. Oh, and see, look, I put, oh, this was the actual scene that creeped me out, JK. Sorry. Because earlier I, I had put this scene, this is a scene that I remember. Not most me doing me the same, not us doing the same thing right now. Yeah. So that's hilarious. Oh, well. This is actually I the still same. forgot. <laughs> um, but we, so they go to go look. This is all very creepy. Uh, Annie's very creeped out. So she's like, I got to go see Dr. Doofenshmirtz. So they go to see Dr. Ooh. Doofenshmirtz. But when they get there, what happened? Did I pass something? No. What? Oh, when they go see <laughs> Dr. Doofenshmirtz, that's whenever they're there at his office and they're trying to see him. And they're like, what's, you know, hi, we're here to see Gerald. And the receptionist is just like, crying crying because she I literally i guess something bad happened to him yeah um and i think she even gets a phone call as well at that point walks out of the room as she's crying mm-hmm. and then that's whenever annie goes in and she starts stealing the tapes and his laptop and all these files that it was right he has. in that moment whenever she went to go get the files and she was like stay here and she walked over and i, I was like not the belt over her shirt let's go <laughs> Oh, oh, the her styling. Fashion choice. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then I was like, actually, but this is metal AF. She just steals all the case files and leaves. She does. I was yeah. like, damn. That's it. She's let's like, go. let's go, girls. You're not they hardcore leave. unless you live hardcore. And so they end up um, getting this. And at the same time, we have Luke leaving the hospital and sneaking out, essentially, because he wants to go to the cabin. Because he um, finally realizes he's looking through also oh, some yeah. case files or something. Yeah, exactly, and he sees he a picture of Wilson Pass. And That's he was from like, his vision. Ew. Oh, this is near Clifton Forge. Yeah. And where the so, girls were found. Yeah. Yeah. And so he wants to go back, um, which he does. And at this point. But also without telling An- anyone. Yeah, it doesn't. And then Annie is also wasn't Fucking discharged. Fucking communicate people. And Annie is listening to tapes. Um, She is essentially kind of putting her own two and two together on everything that's happening. And she's figuring out as well that she's Dr. Doofenshmirtz to hypnotherapy was session six. fucking making a whole book and basically exploiting the girls for his personal gain. Um, And yeah, she's she's listening to it all. Um, And, and figuring kind of putting two and two together with mm-hmm. her like visions as well. Yeah. Like she fell into the water, but the baby didn't. Baby got stuck in the branch. And then I yeah. just have a note that says, ew, Lily eating Victoria's hair. She they does. were like laying yeah. in bed and Victoria's She's hair was it. over the thing. And, and I, like, oh. I think that's when Victoria tells Annabelle that she loves her. Yes. Around that area. And then that's yeah. whenever all that happens. I mean, Mama's very pissed off that Victoria said that to her mm-hmm. um, because this is kind of like a climax starts happening where we have um, her showing she, up. And she opens, Annie opens the box and. We see the remains of the, we actually the baby. see the remains. Yeah. Well, we don't see the actual remains. We see, we see it like wrapped up. It's clearly up. a skull yeah. wrapped in a cloth. Yeah. Um, and ooh, we also get the, he, whenever he was interviewing her and she's like, he says, why aren't you like, why won't mama come out? And she says she won't come because she knows you're watching. Yeah. And then that was like, that part was kind of creepy too. Mm-hmm. And so then we have um, essentially mama coming she's not holding back anymore and she starts attacking um miss annabelle um and that's whenever we get like this whole scene of them going through the house and um, it's because gene is breaking in oh and that's true that's, that's why right. the girls went to go investigate some noises in the house mm-hmm. they even went downstairs at all because yeah. they heard someone in there and then because annie's still downstairs listening to the, the tapes. tapes yeah and lily gets into i guess the entryway looks into that foyer across Mm -hmm. the way and she's just sitting there staring at mama and victoria's like don't look at her she's mad Mm -hmm. and then she fucking charges them yeah it was so scary it's very scary and then they're running and they're scared and they're screaming and everyone's scared and mama like we get a good all like full-on mama shows herself Mm -hmm. and oh yeah oh and this is where annabelle like comes in and she's like what the fuck's going on Mm -hmm. yeah and then um this is where she starts walking like a crab Oh, yeah, that's right. Her back, like, 
And then that's whenever uh, remind me what's going on at this point because uh, my she's notes basically I just have her, there's a because my next note is like she's sucking the life out of Annabelle. That is exactly what my right. Notes okay, notice. cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Because she's, it's like they're, oh, they're all fighting. Yeah, it's not fighting, but essentially there's just a lot of commotion going on and a lot of people running and being scared. And then we have she's Miss literally sucking the life out Annabelle of her. on the floor and Miss um, Mama sucking the life out of her. And then Victoria is like, no, you pro you promised. You promised you made when it hurt. Days. Yeah, exactly. And her. so. Miss Mama looks at her and she goes and takes the glasses off of Victoria because she crushes them because she's like, no, not in my house. And then, you aren't going to see. You can't see the truth. Mm -hmm. that's you can't true. see anything better than me. And the, all that's happening. We want her to leave her alone. Um, that's what Victoria is screaming out. But then that's whenever um, Aunt Karen gets possessed. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Because that's Jean. where we flash back down to Jean actually being in the house mm -hmm. and we get this like fucking mob of hair just like going right up to her. Yeah. Across the floor. And, and her face is so her. scary when she gets possessed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And jeans. Yeah. Jeans. Yeah. Whenever yeah. she turns around, she straight up looks like she should have been in Coraline. Yeah. Or something. And then uh, there's like moths crawling out of her mouth and shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was pretty creepy. It's pretty it was scary. Like, oh. Yeah. Um, and so all that's happening is pretty, f it's like, it's so intense because it happens all very fast. It's like, bam, 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 bam. And because that's happening, Miss uh, comes Annie too. comes back too. And she's like, what the fuck? Oh shit. And so then she all grabs the, kids the are gone. all the kids are gone. She grabs the remains and she's like, get into go. She's getting the caboodle out of there. And then she goes to the cabin area, but that's whenever she runs into, runs into the fucking Luke of all people. Yeah. And then there's no like, what are you doing here? Wait, what do you, it's like, Hey, I'm here. I'm here. And then it's just like, we got to get the girl. Like yeah. there's no like it's as if they were already in communication with each other. I guess they're in crisis mode. Maybe. And they're both realizing like fuck shit is going down. Yeah. If they're both led yeah. here yeah. at the same time, I guess they must be like, okay, something's happening. Because they end up getting to the cabin and they see mm -hmm. Jean just kind of like standing really creepily in the middle of the room. And then she just kind of like falls apart essentially. Yeah. And <laughs> it's she really falls gross. back. Yeah. Kind of like how mama does. Um, and she's officially dead at this point, I'd say. Mm -hmm. And they are freaking out. And then Ma, they go out of the house because they're like, where the fuck are they at? And they see that her and the babies are on the cliff. Mm -hmm. And so they run up to the cliff on that's whenever. Mama's being kind of sweet, Ma putting little things in their hand. Uh -huh, she's getting ready to attire. kill them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's whenever Miss Annie comes up and she's yelling at them and she's like, not my kids. Don't take them. Mm -hmm. And we have mama freaking out on them. And she ends up trying to, she ends up what? Picking or hitting Yeah, because she's like over the edge. She's yeah. like floating there with her arms wide open. Like oh, creed. she's trying to take them. Yes, that's right. And that's whenever <laughs> Annabelle keeps fighting to keep on and hold on to Victoria. Yeah. And well, that was like the first time Lily starts running towards her. And then, yeah, that's when fucking she starts like killing Luke. She like grabs his mm, face whenever mm -hmm. he tries to grab Lily from running into her arms. Yeah. And she's like, Meh, like killing him. My and baby. then Annabelle's like, Edith. And then yeah. is like this baby. And yeah, she that's right. Pulls out she the tries baby. to give her her little skeleton baby. That's right. Yeah. Her real and baby. Then she's put like giving the baby and the way that. So at this point, my closed captioning was saying purring. Mm -hmm. Like, so mama was like purring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then she was also doing this weird teeth clocking thing like uh-huh i make that noise in my sleep sometimes isn't that terrifying you're just like mama you're a ghost i i am mama you're a supernatural <laughs> ghost see you're already for kids yay um and so she I does look at it she kittens. is looking at the little ghosty skeleton remain baby in her arms and she kind of seems like okay this is it this is good we're it good almost, we gave yeah. her the baby this is it Felt like but we it's because of fucking dumb lily it's redemption. lily it's lily because honestly i feel like she would have took that skull thing and went on and like whoosh, because bec she even turned to this like beautiful blue like it's like samara light. coming back yeah like, and yeah. she was you know her, normal her self. skin wasn't sunken in as yeah. much anymore she looked like she did when she was alive yeah mm -hmm. and, and even uh, probably a little bit better <laughs> than and the afterlife glow yeah and um <laughs> she uh literally but then lily has to be like and, and then now uh, mama's mad that her baby's dead she's and like i want that i want the one. real one yeah mm -hmm. literally and so then of course she once again tries to take these kids and she fucking sorry but she, she eats picks that up baby and she eats it and then she picks up annabelle and like just like crushes annabelle yeah, almost to death that's true drops her and then we have her trying to walk away with the kids and that's when annabelle's then yes trying to reach on to victoria and then she's like and it was so sad victoria's mama keeps sitting pushing there. her down victoria's like goodbye victoria doesn't really want to go and she was sitting that she was 
was like, bye bye. And I was like, do not go with mama. And then she keeps going, go to sleep, Annabelle. Like, sleep now, sleep. Yeah. And that's what mama was trying to do was just like make yeah. her unconscious for a little bit. And but it's she like, wanted oh. the kids. She wanted but Victoria Annabelle and Louis. had some fight and true love overcame <sighs> mm-hmm. mama's sleepiness. And I think mama even saw too, like Victoria didn't want to go with her. And I feel like she also like then saw at that moment, like I'm a mama. I have my baby. She got her baby. She I don't want to take her baby because I know I don't want my baby to get taken. So sharing it's very like, you caring. have this one. I take this one. Yeah. It was very much like that. We get the best of both and words. then we have um, Lily, freaking dumbass Lily, going into mama's arms. They kind of fly off the and cliff. We get, uh, and we get I this beautiful think, like cocoon moment. I do think situation. it's a good callback when Lily says, Victoria, come, mama. Yeah. And then Victoria's like, Victoria's day. Victoria's day. And Victoria says, goodbye, mama. I love you. And it was like, oh. Yeah. I was like, what a good, nice little callback. And, and I love how they come and wrap some into this to it. beautiful little cocoon thing. And then they just like plummet. Plummet so fast. Mm-hmm. And then hits the branch and it's turning to moths. And yeah. bur- burst into a bunch of moths. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then everyone's sitting there crying, obviously. Annabelle yeah. is like hugging Victoria. And somehow everyone's still alive. Lucas Luke, has come too. Annabelle. And yes. while Annie is hugging Victoria and crying, this little moth comes and lands on um, Victoria's hand. And mm-hmm. she, it's goes, a lily. she goes, Lily? Because it was so, a blue moth and not a gray moth. Yeah. And so we can assume that it was Lily. Mm-hmm. And then we kind of get... Um, it ends with Lily flying over the camera, basically, as the rest are huddled off mm-hmm. on the edge and crying on the cliff. And then this is where I was like, okay, but like, why did she need to kill another kid to move on? As because uh, if that was the wrong... My notes are just that Lily is just really stupid. Well, I was so mad. No, I know. I know she knows no better, but yeah. she's still stupid. And honestly, I was... Because if she wouldn't have been like, mama, right? Like, I feel like it would have... It could have been solved. But then like, Lily probably... I mean, I guess it did. It was clear that if Annie was to show some nurturing values, that Lily would she have come have along. Yeah. Um. But almost ultimately, I feel like that that was the better option for Lily. Mm. Like she got to be, and it was clear that there was some sort of afterlife, and they got to be together. Yeah, with, she got as into moths. A moth. Yeah. And then she'll probably live for a month. And die and, and turn die. into something else. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that is <laughs> 2013's Mama, which was Guillermo selected by Jeff, our listener, Jeff. Um, do we want to give his give Jeff's first? input? Yeah, let's go. Let's do Jeff first. Or maybe we want to say yours first because I have it pulled up. <laughs> and or we, we can, can cut yeah. out this part. Um, and no, let's, totally it's fine. I'll go right now. My boo rating for this movie is going to be a solid 3.5. 3.5. Yeah. Um, a little bit more than right in the middle. Um, it's held up. I've seen it now probably four or five times. Could probably watch it another time and it would still be like, I'm okay. I'm not bored of this, you know? Um, the storyline's good. The, like the design of mama is really good. I like how we don't see her until kind of more midway half way through and the film is kind of shot where it's like you know a lot of times it's a little dark so you don't get to see a lot of it all the way but it's like you said how you love the mystery of it um and it's just more creepy that way yeah and eerie and even when you do see her she's really creepy and the way she moves is very creepy it is and And her sounds are um, even though it's so infuriating to me that lily freaking like does what she does at the end so it's kind of like all it's kind of like a fun like like when I get mad every time, it's kind of like it. It's what kind of makes the movie for me. It's uh, it's still eliciting it's, it's su- very real reactions from me. Maddening. Maddening. How dare she? How dare she? So stupid. But yeah, that's my rating. A three point five. Three point five. Okay. Jeff's. Let's put Jeff in the middle. Great. So, part one. It, it's not actually that long, but it does say part one. And then the next message is part two. It's because Prologue. Instagram won't let Epilogue. you send super yeah. long messages. Gotcha. Um, so he's, he says, okay, so I watched Mama again for the last night or last night for the nth time. Still fucking love it. And I think I can safely say I would give it a 4.75 booze. Mm. Um, little ghost. Um, the only thing for me that keeps it from a five is that I think it was a victim of horror at the time and leaned a bit too much into jump scares, which, yes, there were a few. <laughs> yeah. Like whenever um, Annabelle is looking in the closet after that whole actual scene um, where she thought Lily was in the yeah. corner. 
we get that almost very cheap jump scare of mama in the corner Mm -hmm. and it's like i I didn't really need to see that there yeah um so i can see what like he means by that and he says outside that i love the imagery that's used throughout the movie the silhouette and former mama is amazing i think the movie was paced really well and the character growth of annabelle and the connection between her and the girls that grew was played out really well Mm -hmm. i I love the use of blurred vision for some scenes through victoria's eyes and i totally agree with that um as they remind me of seeing shit without my glasses on. And when I say seeing shit, I mean things that aren't there. But that's another story. Oh, a ghost story. Interesting. I'll mm-hmm. have to know. Another big part of why I love this movie so much is that it fucks with the conventional safety of a bed. I love the use of dreams, nightmares to tell her story. And um, he said, oh, my, that scene with mama under the bed pressing through it. Nope. Yeah. Scary. And <laughs> you do not want to fuck with, like, the safety safe area of your bed that's true um and so he says i also love the end when they show the duality of love with light edith and mama and we also need to shout out louise the wise archivist that dug up all the key intel and she put everything on track she's a true hero great yeah. shout out louise because we just called her old lady <laughs> <laughs> shout her out um and oh p.s i also can not even with Jessica Chastain rocking tats and a pixie cut in this movie, we shit on her hair. It was, I'm sorry, Jeff. It was, we hated her hair. I know. Um, and it's just not my favorite. And then he okay. said, and also if you haven't seen it yet, I would recommend check out the short that inspired the movie. And so yeah. if you have the DVD, he says it was included on my DVD copy of the movie, but I believe you can find it on YouTube. Cool. Um, and he says, blah, blah, blah. The rest was a response to a conversation we were having. That's awesome. So, well, yay. we love your pick, Jeff. Obviously, I gave it a 3.5. Um, actually, I might be inclined to give it a 3.75. 3.75. Yeah. 3.75, a 4.75. And what shall I give it? I think a four. Four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I. It was super easy to get through. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it, it is. is it's very, very well paced, like you said, digestible, actually. Very well paced. The ending, yeah. it's like, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Mm-hmm. And then it's just kind of like we're done that's it. and yeah. you're like wait did a baby really just die <laughs> she did i remember did. that's why i sat there the first time just being like oh shit Fuck. i was like the little kid the little kid's dead oh mm-hmm. okay okay lily's dead okay mm-hmm. sometimes you just gotta do it sometimes you just gotta do it well we had one alive excuse me you guys and then one unalive so i feel like and, but she was living because it would have been different if they both went and i would have been like oh shit this is dark as fuck. That would have been really like, I don't know if I would have been like as satisfied with that ending. Yeah. But this, it sure. was good. And it's just like, I know we talked about it in Scream 5, like when Dewey dies. Mm. And so spoiler alert. Um, but it, there's something nice about a main character dying. Yeah, it's true. I, That's true. It's a little bit more satisfying it in the sense of it just so good. It adds more weight, more uh, le- like. Uh, the stakes are higher. Yeah, the stakes are higher. And, and they were. Like any story I've ever read and they stuff. They were very high off that cliff. They were. <laughs> yeah. And then they fell. Um, but, you know, that's it It does make you kind of mm-hmm. appreciate things more. Um, and so I think that ending, had it ended any other way, probably would have been, been too been happy. Good. Yeah, mm-hmm. too perfect. Yeah, too happy or too fucking sad. <laughs> so, I yeah, for all around beautifully shot mm-hmm. again i do love del toro's <laughs> use of imagery and the way that he shoots these monsters yeah. or ghosts and things that are typically meant to be it's it's like you want to look away and you're like oh but then you're also like wait but that's so cool yeah. i love the way it looks yeah. i don't know um and i loved the way that you know her hair always looked as if it was floating Blowing. through water yeah, it was and stuff too she was like constantly her entire her whole body being was very watery yeah and i i thought it was I thought it was really great. So, yeah, solid four from me. 3.75 and a 4.75. Makes up 4.25. That's what I would go for. Yeah. Yep. 4.25 Two. for the 2013's Mama. Mama. And once Mama. again, we are in the lovely Rogue Media Network studios. That's right. Uh, please make sure you check us, our show out, and all their other lovely shows on RogueMediaNetwork.com. Mm-hmm. And you can also listen to these shows on all of your major listening platforms, the top two probably being Spotify and Apple. But wherever you do listen, don't forget to rate, review, like, and subscribe. Because that is the only way we can get ahead in this world. And then if you want to let us know what movies you would like to be, covered um or if you have thoughts on any of the ones that we previously covered anything like that you can always reach out to us on our one social media platform instagram at 
Boo Bays podcast, and that's at B-O-O-B-A-E-S podcast, because we are your Boo Bays, not your Boo Babes. That's right. Mm -hmm. And until next time, it's almost Halloween, you guys. Almost Halloween, you guys. For real. I'm so excited. Oh, and by the way, next week we're watching, or at the end of this week, we're watching Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat. Yay, Sam. Yay. Yeah, it was uh, such a good movie. It is. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Yeah. Yay. Awesome, you guys. Well, until then, bye, Bays. Bye, Bays. This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.